There have been some amazing developments in the last year that set the basis for the completion of some amazing skyscrapers in the year 2023. China has dominated the skies in the last decade. However, this is about to change soon enough. The planned skyscrapers for 2023 are shorter than their predecessors, which is due to the new strict policy of the country to ban the construction of skyscrapers in cities of less than 3 million people and restrict them to mere 250 meters in larger cities. Stay till the end to witness the great Wuhan Greenland Center that was designed by the designer of the Great Burj Khalifa. Welcome back to our channel, Build to Innovate, where we provide you with facts related to mega projects worldwide. Before heading on to the video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you may never miss any of our updates. There have been significant changes in the way super tall buildings are now being built. Developed countries are gradually starting to develop hotel towers and office buildings as the world recovers from the long-term effects of the pandemic and adapts to a new normal. Now, let us discuss five skyscrapers, from shortest to highest, that are going to be fully completed by the end of 2023. This list will truly identify the difference between tall, super tall, and mega tall. Number 5. Hengfeng Guiyang Center Tower 1, China, 373 meters. This is a five-tower mega-project being developed in Guiyang, China. At the top of Tower 1, there will be a multi-story observation deck and helipad. On the inside, the tower will consist of luxury apartments, retail and entertainment facilities, and office space. Besides its immense height of 373 meters, it will still be considered the second tallest building in Guiyang. The tallest building in Guiyang will still be the 401-meter Guiyang International Finance Center, which was completed back in 2020. In the last decade, the city has transformed into a major innovation hub, and by looking at the skyscraper construction boom in the city, it is expected to grow in the upcoming decade as well. Number 4. Greenland Shandong International Financial Center, China, 428 meters. The architecture firm Skidmore Owings & Merrill SOM, has a major role in developing some of the world's largest skyscrapers like the Burj Khalifa and One World Trade Center. SOM is currently developing the new Greenland Shandong International Financial Center, which will become Jinan's tallest skyscraper when it completes in 2023. SOM has already proven its name in China. They have designed several landmark buildings in the country, most notably the 530-meter Tianjin City. ETF Finance Center, a unique skyscraper with a curving facade that optimizes structural efficiency. Greenland Shandong International Financial Center was planned to complete in 2022, but due to some unwanted circumstances, it is now expected to complete in mid-2023. Number 3. Iconic Tower, Egypt, 393 meters. Talking about skyscrapers, how can one not admire the developments in Egypt? Considering that this country has some of the biggest pyramids, they might end up developing some outstanding skyscrapers in the years to come. Egypt is currently developing the most ambitious capital from scratch in the desert. The capital is said to be the size of Singapore. At the center of this city, the iconic tower is being built that is expected to complete in 2023 and become Africa's first super tall skyscraper. It will be 393 meters high and will cross Africa's tallest building by quite a margin, overtaking the Leonardo in South Africa by nearly 160 meters. Developing a whole new city isn't that easy. The main reason for the construction of the new capital is to relieve some of the pressure on the country's overcrowded capital Cairo, which houses about a fifth of Egypt's 104 million citizens. The NAC is being built on 700 square meters of land in the desert, and it will be home to 6 million people. Phase 1 is nearing completion after almost 7 years of construction. Coming back to the actual conversation, how do you build a super tall skyscraper in the middle of a desert? Well, the Project Iconic Tower is getting some help from the China State Construction Engineering Corporation, which is overseeing the construction of the CBD. The major issue in developing the Iconic Tower was stopping it from sinking into the soft desert soil. Luckily, they came up with an idea to develop a raft foundation at the base. It is basically a huge reinforced concrete slab that spreads the load of a building over a wide area. It became the largest foundation in the Middle East, with almost 19 square kilometers of concrete used. 
The team spread the foundation slab in 38 hours, nearly half the time they originally expected. This achievement was the result of a specifically designed concrete pumping system that poured at a rate of 785 cubic meters per hour. This speed was kept up as the building's superstructure began to take shape. The entire concrete was shot up in 808 days, whereas the steel framework advanced at a rate of one floor in three days until all 78 stories were complete. The iconic tower is structurally topped out and is expected to be completed in 2023. The building will be mostly occupied by offices and will house some of the biggest businesses in Egypt. Number 2. Seal Tower, UAE, 365 meters. Seal Tower in Dubai is set to be the world's tallest hotel at 365 meters. It has reached the halfway stage of 52 stories. It is situated at the heart of the marina, near the most popular attractions like the Marina Walk and the Marina Mall Shopping and Entertainment Complex. The construction of Seal Tower is on track and is expected to meet the scheduled completion date in the fourth quarter of 2023. And the hotel's opening date is in the first half of 2024. Seal Tower will surpass Dubai's 365-meter Javora Hotel, which was named after the world's tallest hotel when it opened in 2018, beating the JW Marriott Marquis Dubai by only 6 meters. Seal Tower is being developed by The First Group, one of the region's fastest-growing hotel developers. Rob Burns, chief executive of The First Group, said, Seal is a landmark development for Dubai that will not only enhance its status as one of the world's greatest tourism and business travel destinations, but will set a new benchmark for upscale accommodation in what is recognized as one of the most dynamic and competitive hotel markets on the planet. Seal Tower will have more than a thousand guest rooms and suites. It will also have a luxury hotel with a rooftop that hosts a restaurant, a pool bar, and an observation deck. The main component of the hotel will be a 300-meter atrium with vertically stacked landscaped terraces that will span the building's 82 floors. And finally, number one, Wuhan Greenland Center, China, 475 meters. As stated earlier, Wuhan Greenland Center is designed by Adrian Smith, who also designed the infamous Burj Khalifa. The tower is also based on a Y-shaped footprint like Burj Khalifa. It will consist of a hotel on the top floors that will surpass Ritz-Carlton on Hong Kong ICC to become the highest hotel in the world. Wuhan Greenland Center has been delayed several times and was even redesigned midway through the construction. It was supposed to be the second tallest man-made structure in the world when it began back in 2012, surpassing the Tokyo Skytree by just 2 meters and standing an incredible 636 meters above of Wuhan. Unfortunately, the construction was stopped on the 96th floor after the Chinese authorities requested a redesign so that the building won't violate the airspace restrictions. However, the tower is almost complete now and it may become the tallest skyscraper to complete in 2023. Do tell us your views about these skyscrapers in the comment section. If you have reached this far, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell so you will not miss any future updates. See you in another video. Until